if you're hearing this message, then it means I, I wasn't able to make it back. My work as a soldier is that's the greatest sacrifice of me, and I'm sending this message with hope that it might offer you some self-service understanding, despite the pain and agony you must be in. <laughs> um, here's something I forgot to share with you for a while. Mommy, I love you. I never did say enough when I had the chance, but it's always something that's resonated in my face when I've been living the life in the military. I have a very uh, vivid picture from my childhood. Uh, you remember when uh, we used to camp out in the backyard and I was barely bigger than the tent at the time and you were pointing out the stars and you told me there were brave soldiers from the far off forever shining on us. It was those nights that shaped my dreams to serve our beloved country. Not only that, but the fishing trips in those early mornings and you would teach me how to cast a line and tell me that patience and focus would surely get me a catch. <laughs> well, Mom, those lessons in the fish were just alike. You taught me to be patient, to be resilient, and I carried those lessons all throughout my life, even through my spinal lobe. Sometimes when we're on a mission and I looked in the sign of the night, I would look up at the stars and remember there are soldiers shining down on me. It provided me comfort, it reminded me of home, and it reminded me of you. It reminds you of what I'm fighting for and what I was fighting for. And I want you to remember that I will always love you to death. I will always remember the joy that you brought to us and the bond that forged between us. And I want you to find comfort rather than let my absent cloud and make your path depressing. I hope this message brings you straight. But mom know this. If I could, I would have fought a hundred more battles just to get you home. But unfortunately, life sometimes has different plans. My biggest regret is leaving you with this pain. And all I can hope is that you remember with a smiling face and brave heart. I chose these boots, this uniform, and I knew the risk. And it was all because of the love of our nation that you nurtured in me. So please, Mom, don't mourn for me. Celebrate for me. I lived a life of honor. I've raised challenges and... I got the chance to be with you my whole life, my hero. And if I'm remembered as half the man I am, then let him be, because I knew my life was a rousing success, because I made you proud. Now I gotta sign off, but for one more time, Mommy, I love you, and I'll always, always love you. Goodbye. Your son uh, wanted to give you this as well. Uh, this is on behalf of not just your son, but all of us who served with him. Okay. We are so sorry for your loss, ma'am. flag he would fold and raise every single day at base. Um, it was his responsibility and my responsibility and we do it together. It was oh, an honor. He loved what he was doing. Did he always want to be an American hero? Yeah. Since he was a little boy get one of these action figures, you know, Captain America, and, and wear the cape and run around the room. It was so cute. He always had a drive to save others. Yeah. And it saved a lot of lives, man.
can also find these dog tags. Um, we felt that you should have that back. Now I can put them close to my heart. as a Christmas present last year. You did? Yeah. You love that watch. It makes sense. You probably want I told it. him, count the minutes. We'll see each other again. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. And it just stopped at 30. Yes, ma'am. Typically, um, was that the time that he passed at 1 30? Well, typically, we don't disclose that information, but um, because Anthony was my friend, um, yes, ma'am, at around 129, there was, there was an attack um, at one of the local schools right nearby our base. Did many children die? No, ma'am. Thanks to him, he saved them. That's wonderful. He sacrificed his life for at least a dozen children. Again, I'm not supposed to disclose this information, but your son was amazing. <laughs> he was. So for that, we lost and him. He loved people and he loved children. <laughs> No doubt that he would do such a thing. For that man, we also um, gave a medal in his honor. I'll put this on later. It's okay, man. the president there? I wish, ma'am, but he was just doing his job. Oh, okay. We were so, so sorry for your loss. Your son was a hero in our eyes. And God bless his son. 